In a scrappy match against Australia, England managed to secure a win, thanks to Ollie Watkins' goal. However, the victory did little to alleviate any selection dilemmas for manager Gareth Southgate ahead of Euro 2024 qualifiers against Italy. The performance was disjointed, with only a few positives to take away, such as a clean sheet for goalkeeper Sam Johnstone and a vital goal line clearance by Lewis Dunk. But concerns remained, particularly with Fikeo Tomori's shaky performance in defense and Jared Bowen's struggle to prove himself on the right wing, creativity was sparse, and Jack Grealish's inconsistency, despite assisting Watkins' goal, raised questions. However, the most intriguing question that emerged was how Southgate would handle the public disapproval of Jordan Henderson after his substitution. The booing directed at Henderson may not have been solely due to England's midfield confusion, but also a reaction to his move to Saudi Arabia, which was seen as a betrayal of the LGBTQ cause. The PR battle seems to be lost, and Southgate may need to consider other options. At 33, Henderson's value to the team is diminishing, and Southgate must carefully consider his midfield options. Declan Rice and Jude Bellingham are certain starters, but who fills the third slot? Henderson's performance against Australia suggests that he may not be the best choice. Southgate's ideal midfield would consist of Rice and Calvin Phillips, who needs to find regular football outside of Manchester City. Despite the concerns, the match against Australia provided a relief from off-field controversies. The period of silence in memory of the victims of the Middle East conflict passed without disruption. However, on the pitch, England faced a tough test. Australia showed motivation and physicality, challenging England's complacency. The passing was loose, and the midfield lacked discipline and control. England experimented with their shape and possession but it often resulted in congestion and erratic play. They eventually resorted to a more direct approach, which led to Watkins' goal. The strikers' finish from close range secured the win for England. However, Watkins will need to improve his goal-scoring record if he wants to surpass other contenders like Callum Wilson, Ivan Toney, and Eddie Nkidia to become Harry Kane's understudy. Overall, England's second-string players managed to hold on to the win, but the performance raised more questions than answers for Southgate. The match against Italy will be a true test of England's readiness for Euro 2024 qualifiers.